So in the previous tutorial, we have created a table successfully and uh, we have created the table students. Now we are going to add records in that table. We are going to add something or we are going to insert some rows inside this table. So since we have already created the table, we are not going to re-execute this program because the table has already created. So I'm just going to change this SQL query and we are going to insert something into our table. So we are going to use insert MySQL query. So insert into followed by the name of our table, which was students. And now you will have to specify the columns of this student table, which is ID, name and marks. And now to insert the values in it, you will have to use values and in these braces I'm going to write the values of ID so ID is one name is a string so I'm going to create a string here so let's suppose I write my name here Vishal and now we will have to insert the marks and marks was an integer so let's add good marks let's make it 100 right so this is our SQL query now we are inserting a record in our table students with ID 1 name as Vishal and marks as 100 and this will execute uh, the execute update function is used to execute this SQL query so make sure you create a table first right so if you have not created a table it will throw an exception because if the table does not exist how can you insert something in it right so inserting into a table and here I'm going to write here record cannot be inserted and here I'm going to change it to successfully added the record right so the idea is very simple if you want to insert some data if you want to update the data you will just have to change this SQL query and rest will be done so this execute update function will basically execute this SQL query and remember this stmt is a reference to the statement class which is used to run uh, SQL queries in your uh, Java application so you can see here that it is the object used for executing a static SQL statement and returning the results it produces so it will all it can also return the results and we will see that in the further coming tutorials how to retrieve data so here we have uh, successfully added the record so let's run this program and see whether it will insert something in our database or not so you can see here it says JDBC is registered, connecting to the database, connected to the database, inserting into a table. So successfully inserted the record. So let's check whether it has added some record in our table. So let's go to the database CRUD. And here you can see that there is one row. So it has added a row here. So let's browse that row. So yeah, you can see here the ID is one name Vishal and marks 100 so we have we now uh, we now know how to how to add insert something into a table using a Java application so once you have just registered you registered the driver and you have created the connection you can use the same program again and again by just changing these SQL queries in the next tutorial we are going to create an update SQL 
query which will update uh, the name and the marks of a particular student so thanks for watching and please uh, like and subscribe our channel so